Hi guys, it's uh, Bruce here from Cape Town, South Africa. What we've got is a 2019 Juno Sun Odyssey 440. She's the three cabin uh, owner's version. She's in absolutely mint condition. And comes with a solid inventory. Here we have our little Prada on the front, Spinnaker Halyard, Falcon Anchor, Furling unit, lovely flat decks. The spray dodger and uh, soft bimini. Just taking a walk down the port side. That is uh, all lines lead aft. Here's your fractional spark craft rig, dual spreaders. Spinnaker pole of the mast, boom bang. Rye, dual helm station. Anyway, let's uh, climb aboard and we can pick it up from there. Uh, starting up for it, we can have a look at uh, the um, Prada. Beautifully laid out. Here's your ground gear. There's a quick windlass. Really, really good access through this hatch into the fore locker, sail locker, and also where the jet thruster does its business. Banning aft. Again, you can see she's absolutely in mint condition. Got a nice tow rail on her. As I said earlier, nice flat decks, flash mounted hatches, with good drainage. As you can see here, uh, all lines lead off towards the uh, cockpit. It's a very nice feature. The deck sloping downwards, but still got a nice little Safety rail on the side here. Excellent seating. You can easily lie out here for a relatively tall person. There's an outboard motor mounting bracket. This is a particularly nice feature here is the swim platform with the built-in ladder. It's in the down position at the moment. It comes up. There's uh, locker storage all over the place. Um, plenty, plenty storage as we'd want on a cruising boat. One of the primaries is electric. Got a uh, full set of Raymarine electronics on board. Bow thruster, stern thruster, water pilot, radar. Moving forward, we're going to drop down into the companionway. Dropping down into the companionway now, we just get a, a view of an absolutely magnificent vessel. The interior is far bigger than one would expect on a 44. They managed to create a lot of internal space or usable internal space. We can start up forward and work our way back. Just look at this entrance into what can only be described as a owner's suite. Double doors. Storage lockers. The windows are just the right height so you can sit in bed and look out. There's really good ventilation through through two big hatches. Ensuite. 
heads. Plenty of shower space in the wet locker. As I said before, it appears as if you came straight from the factory. U-shaped uh, seating. side galley again a u-shaped assembly dual sinks pressurized hot and cold water and then uh, plenty of cupboard space for all the necessaries Decent sized bar fridge. Storage facilities for crockery. Further storage. Yet again, further storage. Panning aft. We come to the um, chart table. As could be expected, she wants for precious little. It's the uh, Raymarine uh, autopilot, remote autopilot. Coming into the court aft cabin. Really nice big double bed. Controls, electric controls. is underneath the, the stairwell. I'll put a photo of that in the description. Starboard side. Another beautiful locker. Oh, not locker, rather cabin. Let's get through here. There's our one sweet head. So she's a three cabin dual head arrangement and still manages to feel so roomy. Final pan around, port, port, port through to starboard. And uh, yeah, that is your Genoa Sun Odyssey 440.